Okay, we'll start with the Mustard R75, size 12. This is a simple but very effective and semi-realistic Stonefly nymph. So we just go with our tying thread a wee way back. Now what this pattern does, I mean it's not a complicated pattern but it takes all the main features of a Stonefly nymph and puts them together. So we take a little bunch of pheasant tail fibres, these are centre cock pheasant fibres and we'll tie these in for the tail. Now I like to make the tail a little bigger larger than usual because we're playing on features here so that will do us there and we go up we want to tie these fibres onto the hook shank because these are going to give the lead wire more purchase so we'll just remove them then we need if I turn that that way we need two pieces of lead wire and we want these on the side of the hook shank so we just spin our Dyneema anti-clockwise to open up the thread along one side just bring that up not right into the tail base but almost and then we can go back up and not all the way forward because you want room to finish it but about there so if we go round two or three times there and then just tighten up you can cut off the th thread so second piece of lead wire it's better to make these a little longer so they're easier to handle if you make them exactly the cut them to exactly the right size they're very difficult to get in the right position Pull that off. just tack this all the way down to about there and then we'll pull that up again and then again two or three times around on the same position and tighten to cut those off and we go up again tighten that then what we want is flat pliers and we'll just push everything into position to give that flat body and then a drop of head cement both under and over just to keep everything correct and then we can go round again just to hold it all in position into the tail base like so Good. We need the centre tail feather again from a cock pheasant. When you're buying these centre tail feathers, you normally buy them individually. Look for this good chevron marking and the long, long fibres. Uh, this will help very much with uh, when you're doing pheasant tail patterns as uh, using it as body. So we take a bunch, about so many, so much, sorry, and then we'll tie these in at the tail base with the points and then we'll go up along the body and we'll stop just about in the thorax then we don't want to twist these we want to try and keep the fibres parallel and we'll go around over the body now when you get so far and the fibres start getting short what you can do is hold them in position with one finger as you take hold of them and then hold them in position again bring them over and then again so we can go back now around the fibres and tie them down.
then you get that nice flat body. So we just get rid of those. A very stonefly type body. So what we need now is a piece of virtual nim flexi body. And again, I've had a few questions about the colours. If I could say what colours we're actually using, but I mean, this doesn't really matter. If the colour is very, very important, I'll let you know about it. But this is more technique, and of course, there are yellow stoneflies, black stoneflies, olive stoneflies, brown stoneflies. So you choose the colour yourself. So we'll tie just a strip of this nymph uh, flexi body tight into the body of the stonefly and then we'll take this forward. We can cut a bit of that off. I've tied that in a bit too far forward. That'll do it. And we'll just tie that down. And go back up into the body. Like so. Excellent. Then we need a bit of buggy dubbing. Now I just want a little bit here just to push the flexi body over into the rear body. What this does is we get then a nice tight uh, wing case tight into the body and over the thorax. Just pull that back. Okay. Then we need two small strips a pheasant tail, fibres again for the legs, one in there, tie these in a little bit longer on this side because we can pull them through to the correct length. There we go. And we just tie these down, go forward again, and you can get rid of all this surplus. Very good. As I said, this is playing on the features of a stone flying nymph. It's called the Mexican hat theory if you haven't heard it before. If you have three uh, identical men standing next to each other it's difficult to see which is the Mexican of them. But if you put a sombrero on one of them it's very easy to identify and it's this type of theory that we like to work on with patterns making it very easy for the fish to recognize what's what. So a little bit of dubbing, pull the uh, flexi body over and then we'll just tack that in, pull it back, make a couple of turns in front and we stretch the flexi body and let go and cut. That makes it disappear under the tying thread. And we just tighten that up. And again, you can put a drop of just colour the head if you like, or put a drop of brown varnish on there, olive varnish. Like so. And that's the finished pheasant tail stonefly nymph. Thanks for watching.